So we'll start uh, uh, yesterday uh, we had uh, how we uh, described motion in uh, one dimension uh, taking into consideration uh, in the simplest case how we uh, described Lagrangian of a system Lagrangian of a particle got the point Up, we are going to extend the same uh, discussion uh, the last time uh, if I just uh, rehash what I said is that we got a we had a differential equation just like we have a differential equation f is equal to m d2 x by so in the same way uh, the differential equation in terms of time uh, and in terms of uh, we got uh, yesterday was uh, we solved uh, this time period time period was basically between uh, two points in space minus uh, ux so e is the total energy e is the potential energy t is the x1 and x2 are the two points uh, integral uh, they are the two points in uh, space uh, you got the point so uh, just like up in your uh, we studied uh, time period we studied time period uh, in context of how we study motion in one dimension you got the point तो ऐसे हम समझते हैं अब आज का ये है कि वो है टू डिटरमाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेर एवर यू हैव एन इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन समथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन पार्टिकल अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ सर्टन फोर्स ऑफ फाइव न्यूटन ये कहां से कहां तक पहुंचा है ना दिस हाउ यू स्टडी अर्लियर क्लासेस बट इन बट द पार्टिकल इज ट्रेवर्सिंग सम ट्रेजेक्टरी स्पेस इज ट्रेवर्सिंग सम it may be from point a to point b and from point a and point b may be from a particle is coming from infinity so it's good coming from infinity ye rest pe aata hai or it starts from rest or it goes to infinity it start comes from infinity it goes to infinity so these are all sort of uh, possibilities and these are modulo these uh, boundary conditions uh, how you can determine the motion of the particle or time period of the particle how they are all related but we have to study all of this in what context in the context of lagrangian of how we have formulated newtonian mechanics or mechanics in the lagrangian way what a point uh, this is point so today's class we are going to uh, have uh, uh, determination determination of uh, uh, determination of uh, determination of <coughs> potential energy from period of oscillation hai na jis tarah aapka hai t is going to by root of l by g that's the time period of an oscillating particle you have studied so in the same way you have to determine the potential from this uh, We have, to, uh, we have to determine. Uh, so, if we consider uh, diagrammatically a particle, uh, it, it has potentialities of of uh, oscillating in both directions. In direction this this quarter. So, if it starts from origin this, so it you can it has potentialities of going this way or. This way, just like in motion of pendulum, what do we do? It will go this way or that. So you can take the analogy of pendulum in trying to understand, in trying to picture how we can uh, just arrive at it. So it has potentialities of going this way or that way. You got. Or if it goes all the way, it it will make four coordinates, you know? Pure I. So first we are going to concentrate. Uh, uh, along x-axis, this is x1 u and x2 u, two directions, and uh, this is the uh, total energy of the system, uh, and uh, this is x1. This is energy at x2. Yesterday, only one thing we did was that we thought that total energy is kinetic. and potential or total energy which is composed of these two components 
so potential increases kinetic decrease or whatever so at some point stable point uh, where kinetic and potential energy are constant it will be a sort of stable minimum it will be a sort of stable minimum uh, that's it so and u is the uh, is the potential energy now what we are going to do is uh, so so we can have uh, the potentialities of if we want to study pictorially this and this okay so either x can go from x is going to x1 to x is going to 0 this is one boundary condition the other is x is going to x2 and x is going to 0 so it has moved from this this is x is going to x0 either it moves this way or it moves this way got the point ye hai na ya to yahan se ja raha hai ya yahan se ja raha hai to ab ye hai ki iski motion hum how we are going to uh, study motion modulo uh, the uh, equation time period uh, which i just yesterday we just found it a uh, time period of a given particle from a uh, position having energy at x1 having at energy e and x2 at energy e is given by this thing. E minus uh, u x. If e is the total energy, is that so? This is the time period of this thing. So, so having this expression, we are going to use these two uh, boundary conditions of uh, a particle which is uh, traversing uh, this journey uh, or this uh, trajectory. Okay. So we have a time period uh, using this equation. Uh, ये वाली क्वेश्चन टाइम पीरियड विल बी इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ टू एम इट्स अपना है तो पार्टिकल विल बी फ्रॉम जीरो टू ई जीरो टू ई तो दिस अपना आएगा डी एक्स बाय सो इफ वी राइट डी यू इन डिनोमिनेटर एंड डी यू इन द डिनोमिनेटर तो कैंसिल हो जाएगी डी नॉट फर्क पड़ेगा तो ये अपना आएगा e माइनस एक्स प्लस सो इट्स कोर्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू e एंड e टू जीरो एक एक फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन में जाएगा एक रिवर्स डायरेक्शन में जाएगा है ना इट गोज फ्रॉम मैक्सिमम टू मिनिमम एंड मिनिमम टू मैक्सिमम सो जीरो टू e एंड e टू Zero back, so it will be. So it will be the boundary condition here. Will be if it is zero to e, maximum energy and again maximum energy to zero. Uh, only one thing is this is d x one. This is d x. This is uh, along uh, trajectory along x two. This trajectory along x one. बाकी से अगेन हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव डन डी यू डी इट विल कैंसल सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई इट सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई इट एंड अब आप इसमें वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अवर नॉलेज ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन और नॉलेज ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन मीन्स जीरो टू ई इसको अगर हम विल जस्ट चेंज द वैल्यू ऑफ इंटरग्रो फ्रॉम अपर बोन टू लोअर बोन इट विल चेंज टू माइनस साइन है ना अदरवाइज इंटरग्रो विल बी सेम सो यहां माइनस विल हैव अ फैक्टर ऑफ माइनस हियर इफ यू चेंज दिस टू एज जीरो है ना दिस विल हेल्प अस टू सिंप्लीफाई नाउ व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो हियर so this and this will come in common dx2 by u minus dx1 by u hai na and this will be equal to e minus u x fine yahan tak theek hai na this is the time period time period of a particle 
which has moved from uh, minimum to maximum, then maximum to again minimum. Uh, Two uh, possibilities. So this is this thing. Now here, what we are going to see, if we divide uh, divide uh, both sides by both sides by root of by this alpha minus e. So push for the break. We divide both sides by. We will take alpha as a parameter. Alpha as a parameter. D of e. Huh. So it will be equal to two of n. So if you take alpha as a parameter and integrate it from zero to ठीक है अल्फा इज सम पैरामीटर दिस मे बी टोटल एनर्जी मे बी कांस्टेंट दिस मे आल्सो बी कांस्टेंट सो अल्फा इज अ क्वांटिटी मे वेरी फ्रॉम 0 टू अल्फा सो हियर आल्सो अब हमारे पास यहां से राइट हैंड साइड से वी गेट रूट ऑफ 2m इज अपना एंड वी हैव डिवाइडेड बोथ साइड्स पे अल्फा माइनस e बट वी हैव टू इंटीग्रल्स एक अपना 0 टू e द अदर वन इज 0 टू अल्फा Rest is same. dx2 by du minus dx1 by uh, du du root of e minus u. Or we can put this uh, alpha minus u here. Alpha minus u. Okay. So this is. So now we have to solve this uh, differential equation. Uh, we have to solve this differential equation it means as if we are solving the trajectories of particles uh, from distance x to at two different points at which will correspond totally to this uh, particle going from maximum to minimum and then minimum to maximum ya yeah, maximum to minimum or minimum to whatever uh, you be of linear thing theek hai so this is the time period but the parameters here are alpha And e, uh, the, uh, the energy varies from zero to e or zero to alpha. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to uh, solve this uh, differential equation. So here uh, comes up our daily work. A little bit of homework. I just homework. Uh, the book says. The book says. Okay. The book says, but you have to convince yourself that book says right. Okay. The homework problem of the book is uh, there is the second here. Uh, the second uh, second integral here uh, so if i put uh, the, uh, here this integral with this and this integral with 0 to alpha because alpha is the parameter here con integration 0 to e means ye hai na potential so this is uh, you can have this integration here and this kind of integration here so the book says the value of homework is uh, it's easy and its values pi its values इसका सेकंड कंपोनेंट अब आप जगह आप जस्ट ट्राई टू सी पाई आर आई की बाय प्रॉपर सोल्यूशन सो इफ इट इज पाई देन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड माइड बी इक्वल टू टू एम अपना So, so, so if I it's pi, so I just uh, so we have taken it as pi. So you can take it as du apna hai. So you can cancel this with this. So integration is between dx2, dx1. When you integrate dx2, it will be x2. It will be x1. Huh? Right? It will be x1. So it, this, uh, if you proper uh, substitution ke baad, if we have it, uh, it will be. Uh, the second integral the value of second integral came out to be pi pi root 2m so it will be x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 alpha oh sorry it's zero to alpha sorry sorry it's zero to alpha it's zero to alpha 
हाँ सॉरी जो इट इज जीरो टू अल्फा सेकेंड वन मोवल्स जो सेकेंड इंटीग्रल है ना उसका वैल्यू था यू टू अल्फा डीई बाय अल्फा माइनस जिसका वैल्यू ये आ रहा है एवं स्वाम सो विच यू हैव टू इवेलुएट इट विल कम आउट टू बी पाई इट विल कम आउट टू बी पाई एंड दिस विल कम आउट टू बी दिस एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन हाँ यहां तक तो ठीक है ना दिस वन इज फाइन now what uh, so now if we assume if we assume that uh, if we assume that right the band is the same one second if we assume and that if we assume that x1 since x2 0 so from the boundary condition we know theek hai so this means value of x2 at 0 value of x1 0 you can write write it as x2 at u potential of x minus potential of x at u alpha ke badle work kar value of potential x2 at alpha alpha hai u in the in, in presence of alpha we will have u so you can write this equation like this we can write this equal to this and isko aap you just uh, divide it from left hand side this will be 1 by uh, root of pi root 2m so integral of t alpha t of e Alpha minus e. So this is the differential equation we are uh, getting. So, so we have this T e. So this T e uh, energy of the system, you can get it from the difference of this and at two different points. At so we have got something very really puzzling. Puzzling in the sense, ye uh, hai ki. जो एक्स टू यू एंड एक्स वन यू है ना दे आर इन डेमसेल्स इन डिटर्मिनेट इन डिटर्मिनेट समझते हो यू नो इन डिटर्मिनेट मीन्स यू कैन नॉट डिटरमाइन मीन्स इट कैन है ना और बिटरी वैल्यू वेन यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व जस्ट डे वट आई सेड ऑल्सो कोई भी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सॉल्व करने के लिए वी शुड स्पेसिफाई द इनशियल वैल्यू कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेदर बॉडी इज फ्रॉम रेस्ट और वेदर बॉडी इज इन सो इफ यू हैव Body at rest starts. So the constant of integration c1 is equal to zero. So we have determined a differential equation exactly. We can know after five minutes. If five newton force is applied, the body has started from rest. So you will have to approach exactly. But if we don't know the initial value conditions, whether the body was at rest or whether it was in motion, after that we have to force apply it. So we are not going to exactly determine here. Where the uh, body will uh, rest at. So in that context, in the same way, the value of x2 and the value of x1 are integrated uh, or uh, in, uh, themselves are indeterminate. This means, but do you have a difference of x2 minus x1? They will uh, constitute uh, the different curves, different trajectories of the particles from point A to point B. So, our pass infinite curves are uh, where the particle will move from point A to point B, which will correspond to this uh, solution of a differential equation. Got the point? So, if you want to have a particular uh, value, uh, fix it. Uh, uh, Where we will have, where we will have uh, prescribed, I use the word so uh, we are in. So if we have, if, if, so if we have to. Uh, 
Just do a way that we will have infinite vectors which will give the value of difference of two potentials between two points. अगर हम इस इक्वेशन को वॉन्ट टू मेक इट हा वॉन्ट टू मेक इट डिटर्मिनेट वॉन्ट टू मेक इट डिटर्मिनेट डिटर्मिनेट बनाने के लिए वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू गिव वैल्यू वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिस्क्राइब सम वैल्यू वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिस्क्राइब सम वैल्यू Uh, to the points. Say so that, for example, if we if we uh, define so so what is the sort of value we are going to? So if it is symmetrical, if it is symmetrical, symmetrical means a side view. So modulo some sign difference, sign difference. It will be u u one x. Will be the other part of will be u1 minus x. Okay, the two sides, which will be value will be. Such that uh, if we give it value, uh, we will have x2 u is equal to minus x1 u, and we can uh, represent it whole of it by x of u. So the value of u uh, it will be x, but on the other side it will be Minus of the same value, so they are representing two points. Two points, okay. So this is one point on the symmetrical axis, the other is the on the other side. So if you represent this entire thing as a function of this, uh, so जो हमारी the differential equation है, which we have to uh, which we have to solve, it will come out to be like this. So this is this justifies our जो हमारा top determination of for period of oscillation ठीक है so you can you can, uh, you can justify it from that अब इसमें यह है कि the only thing is that we have to just determine the other part of the integral now there is a discussion of uh, something called reduced mass oh i'll take two minutes three minutes so reduced mass means what reduced mass means so just like we have in uh, physics one body pole problem two body problem three body problem and a center of mass so here we are describing everything in terms of lagrangian of a system to so lagrangian of two body system kya hoga three body system kya hoga n body system kya hoga so if you want to uh, for a particular case uh, of lagrangian This is Lagrangian of a system. Okay. Uh, so if you have a center of mass, the, uh, so you can write it as a difference of two vectors, है ना? Any position vector, and that position vector can be uh, the center of mass also. ठीक है, the different the center of mass can be represented as this. So if a body has a center of mass, तो ही है उसका ये है position vector है. तो we can have, uh, for example, normally M if there is a two body system M1 R1 is equal to M2 R2 is equal to M M1 plus M2 into R, and R is basically M1 R1 plus M2 R2. M1 plus M2. We represent this by large the center of mass. If you can get, ठीक है. So if we have these two equations, we just uh, just I'll stop. So M1 R1. If it, the body is at center of mass, so the, if it's at origin, this R will be equal to 
zero. So if it will be R equal to so M1, R1 is, is equal to zero. So so if you put this equation one, this equation two, and uh, you just uh, rearrange the two equations, so we we'll have value of uh, R1 will be equal to and value of R2 will be equal to. And the Lagrangian of a system will be equal to 1 by 2 m r dot square minus u r. And this m here basically is equal to this m can also be written as m is equal to uh, this. You can also write it as this. Uh, m can be written as this. Okay, so this is the formula. So you, uh, the, you can have this subsequent problem. At least you read it. Okay. So the point is the, how you can uh, write Lagrangian of a system of two particle system. It, you can generalize with the n particle system also with a given center of mass. How we can write it? We can write it in terms of this way, where m is reduced mass. This is also called reduced mass problem. You, know, you might have studied in your earlier class. Reduced mass problem. When we have sun, moon, earth, that three body problem will be. Now we two body problem is very simple. Okay? Then we have three three body problem, four body problem, solar system has n body problems. But when galaxies are there, that n particle, which is my theory, clustering theory. Okay? But you start from simple things, Lagrangian of one particle, Lagrangian of two particles. So, in reduced mass problem to classical mechanics, here, how we can uh, formulate it in terms of Lagrangian of the system. Okay? Jumped.